Welcome to a lesson on the plus four method for determining a confidence interval for a population proportion. There is a certain amount of error introduced into the process of calculating a confidence interval for a proportion. Because we do not know the true proportion for the population, we are forced to use point estimates to calculate the approximate standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Studies have shown that the resulting estimation of the standard deviation can be flawed. Fortunately, there's a simple adjustment that allows us to produce more accurate confidence intervals. We simply pretend that there are four additional observations. Two of these observations are successes and two are failures. The new sample size is n plus four and the new count of successes is x plus two. Computer studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of this method. It should be considered when the confidence level desired is at least 90% and the sample size is at least 10. Other considerations are when the sample proportion is very close to zero or very close to one or when the sample size is small. Let's take a look at an example. A random sample of 25 to six students was asked, have you smoked a cigarette in the past week? Six students reported smoking within the past week. Use the plus four method to find a 95% confidence interval for the true proportion of statistic students who smoke. So looking at our notes here on the right, to determine p prime, the sample proportion, we use x plus two for the number of successes and n plus four for the sample size. Because six students reported smoking within the past week, we know x equals six and therefore x plus two is equal to eight. And 25 students were surveyed and therefore n equals 25. But for the plus four method, we use n plus four which is equal to 29. We also know the confidence level is 95% and therefore CL is equal to 0 0.95. Let's also find alpha and alpha divided by two. Alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level. One minus 0 0.95 is 0 0.05. And then alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.5 divided by two, which is equal to 0 0.025. And now let's find the sample proportion for the plus four method, which is the quantity x plus two divided by the quantity n plus four. So p prime, the sample proportion is equal to eight divided by 29, which is approximately 0 0.276. And now let's find q prime, where q prime is equal to one minus p prime which is equal to 0 0.724. Before we find the error bound, we need to find the z-score that corresponds to the 95% confidence level, which we label z sub alpha divided by two, which is z sub 0 0.025. The reason we use this notation here is because 0 0.025 is the area to the right of the z-score, which means the area to the left would be one minus 0 0.025 or 0.975. This is helpful when determining the z-score using technology, for example, the T84. If we're able to use a table to find the appropriate z-score, we can see the z-score here is approximately 1.96 for a 95% confidence level. If we were using the T84, for example, to find the z-score, we press second var for the distribution menu, option three for inverse norm, Area means area to the left, which again is one minus 0 0.025 or 0 0.975. Enter. We are using the standard normal distribution and therefore mu is zero, enter. Standard deviation is one, enter, enter, and enter. And we can see we do have approximately 1.96 for Z sub 0 0.025. Now we can find the air bound or margin of error, which is the z-score of 1.96 times the sample standard deviation for the proportion, which is the square root of p prime times q prime divided by n plus four. And again, we have the n plus four here because of the plus four method. So p prime is 0 0.276, q prime is 0 0.724, divided by n plus four is 29. And now we go to the calculator. To 
three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.163. So now we can determine the confidence interval, which is P prime minus the air bound to P prime plus the air bound, which gives us 0 0.276 minus 0 0.163 and 0 0.276 plus 0 0.163, which gives us 0 0.113 and 0 0.439. which means we now know the confidence interval using the plus four method is from 0 0.113 to 0 0.439, which means we are 95% confident that the true proportion of all statistics students who smoke is between 11.3% and 43.9%. I hope you found this helpful.